Good, good evening. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Do I see some green out there a little bit? Um, I am just so thrilled to be here tonight. One of the great pleasures of my job is to be able to travel the world and hear and see the performing arts everywhere. And last June, I was in Prague with some dear friends and I was going to uh, an evening and somebody said, oh, we're going to have some brilliant young pianists play. And I thought, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Great, <laughs> not sure what I was gonna get. And I will tell you, my breath was taken away. These artists were so wonderful from this high to this high. And you're going to hear one of them tonight. You are so lucky. He is an extraordinary artist and I'm telling you the story of the first time I heard him. You're gonna be able to tell that same story after you hear him tonight. He's really very special. Before I introduce the ambassador who's going to introduce the, the young pianist, I just wanted to ask you to join me in saying happy birthday to a dear friend. Uh, you heard the name Carl Kamarek. He's watching us from the Czech Republic because he helped introduce us to this young pianist and he helped make it possible for us to be here. And he had a big birthday with a zero at the end of it this weekend. So can you on three say happy birthday, Carl? One, two, three. Happy birthday, Carl. I think he'll like that, what do you think? So um, we are so thrilled here in Washington when you have the diplomatic corps and they can be so incredibly supportive. For those of you who come often to a Millennium Stage, you know that we are the beneficiaries of international programming because of the collaboration that we have with our embassies. And tonight, this is no exception. The Czech Republic is a very good friend uh, to the Kennedy Center, and I'd like to introduce you now to the ambassador of the Czech Republic, Ambassador Kom Komonacek. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, and first of all, uh, thanks to all of you who came today for something a little bit exceptional. Uh, the Czech Republic is a small Central European country with 10 million people uh, who have the chance to have a very good music education since the 19th century. We have the net of almost 500 music schools, most of them free of charge. And in these music schools, we educate 250,000 students every year. <laughs> and it's like everything. If you invest, you get results. So one of the results you will have the chance to hear for the first time here tonight in Washington. Jan Schmela started to play piano when he was six years old. When he was 10 years old, he started winning international competitions and he never stopped. Can you imagine to win the first international piano competition after four years of training? He's 15 today, he will play typically Beethoven, Rachmaninoff, Chopin, the Czech composer of the, 20, uh, of the 20th century, Vítězslav Novák, and we just wish him to continue with his career as good as it is now, because what you are going to see today is one of the top 10 of the pianists under 15 years old age. So that's all what I can say. Enjoy the evening of the music and enjoy the St. Patrick's Day there is a connection, not only Debra in green. The territory of the Czech Republic used to be the original homeland of the Celtic people. So we claim to be the original Irish before you Irish moved out. <laughs> so St. Patrick's Day will be celebrated by Jan Schmela, Kennedy Center, Karel Kumarek Foundation and the Embassy of the Czech Republic. Thank you for coming.